Welcome to this tutorial on how to navigate Faith Leads University Learning Management System. In this video, we'll walk you through the various features and functions of the portal to help you make the most of your learning experience. Let's get started. How to log in in the dashboard. The first step is to log into the portal. To do this, visit the website www.flu.education and click on the dashboard button. Enter your username and password. And voila, you're in. Once you're logged in, you'll see the dashboard. This is your central hub for all things related to your courses. It provides an overview of your progress, upcoming assignments, and recent activity. Take some time to explore the different sections and get familiar with the layout. To update your profile, look for menu item that says setting. It is usually located in the side navigation menu. Click on the profile button. In the profile section, you will find fields where you can update your personal details such as your name, phone number, skill or occupation, and profile picture. Make the necessary changes or updates then click on Update Profile. To update your password, click on the Password tab, enter current password, enter new password, retype new password and then click on Reset Password. To update your social profile, to update your social handle, click on the social profile tab. Enter the URLs or handles of your social media profiles in the appropriate fields. You can include links to your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or any other social media platforms you want to connect with your profile. After making the desired changes, scroll down or look for Update Profile button. Click on it to save your updated profile information and social handles. How to enroll in a course. Now, let's talk about how to enroll in a course. To find and enroll in a course, click on the Our Programs tab in the navigation menu. You'll see a list of available programs. Browse through the options, choose the one you're assigned to, and click on any of the program like Certificate in Business Administration, Bolt, Bachelors in Business Administration, BBA, or Masters in Business Administration MBA. After clicking on the program you're assigned to you will see the list of courses you are to enroll in. Click on each course then go ahead and enroll by clicking Enroll button. Repeat the same process for other courses. After enrolling, you'll gain access to all the course materials and resources. Exciting, right? Course information. When you enter a course, you'll find a wealth of information. This includes the course description, objectives, instructor details, and a breakdown of the curriculum. Take your time to familiarize yourself with this section, as it will help you understand what to expect from the course. Question and Answer tab is a valuable resource for asking questions and engaging with your instructors and fellow students. If you have any doubts or need clarification, simply click on the Question and Answer tab, type in your question, and submit it. You can also check for answers to questions that have already been asked. It's a great way to foster collaboration and enhance your learning experience.
the Announcements tab. The Announcements tab is where you'll find important updates and notifications from your instructors. Make sure to check this tab regularly to stay informed about any course-related news, such as schedule changes, upcoming events, or additional resources. The Gradebook tab. The Gradebook tab is a handy tool for keeping track of your progress. It provides an overview of your grades, scores, and feedback on assignments, quizzes, and exams. This way, you can monitor your performance and identify areas for improvement. The Resources tab. The Resources tab is a treasure trove of supplementary materials provided by your instructors. Here, you'll find additional readings, videos, presentations, and other resources that complement your learning journey. Make sure to explore this tab to enhance your understanding of the course content. The Reviews tab. The Reviews tab allows you to leave feedback on the course and share your thoughts with your instructors and peers. It's a great way to provide constructive feedback, share your experiences, and help others make informed decisions about the course. How to progress with lessons, quizzes, and assignments. Now, let's talk about how to progress through the course content. For each lesson, quiz, or assignment, you'll find a Mark is Complete button. After you finish a lesson, make sure to click on this button. It serves as a checkpoint and unlocks the next lesson, quiz, or assignment, allowing you to move forward in the course. You can only see the mark is complete in every lesson. Reviewing quiz details, this feature lets you see what questions you answered correctly and where you may have made mistakes. Here's how you can access this valuable information. On the dashboard page, locate my quiz attempts and click on it. Here, you have access to the entire quiz you have attempted. Click on the details button to see what questions you answered correctly and where you may have made mistakes. To submit an assignment, click on Start Assignment Submit button. You can choose to write on the text box. Or upload a document by clicking on Choose File button after attaching your file. And you are okay with what you have done, you can then click on Submit Assignment button. When submitting an assignment by uploading a file, there is no need to retype it in the text box. You can either type it or attach it, but not both simultaneously. Please note that once you start an assignment or a quiz you should finish and submit before moving to the next lesson. If you leave without submitting your assignment or quiz, the system will submit an empty page, which means you will have no grade or scores. Please note, if your instructor has provided feedback or additional notes on specific questions, you can find them in the question review section as well. Let's learn how to check the exercise files. The instructor provides these files, which are essential for practicing and reinforcing the concepts you learn in the course. Here's how you can access them. Step 1. Once you're on the course page, click on the lesson and look for the section that contains the exercise files. This would be labeled as exercises files. Step 2. Click on the exercise files to open them. 
They may be in various formats, such as PDFs, Word documents, or video tutorials. Ensure you have the necessary software installed on your computer or device to access these files. Step 3. After opening the exercise file, carefully read the instructions provided by your instructor. These instructions will guide you on how to complete the exercises and make the most out of your practice sessions. That's it. You're now equipped with the knowledge to navigate through our portal and make the most of your learning experience. Remember to explore all the features and engage with your instructors and peers. Remember, if you have any further questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor or the support team. Happy learning!